The violence in Benghazi and Cairo has shocked Americans, including American Muslims. In the wake of the tragic killing of U.S. Ambassador Stevens in Libya, the United States Congress and political leaders should finally learn their lesson. President Obama's British policy of regime change in Libya in the name of humanitarian intervention is a direct cause of this disaster. And if he is permitted to continue in office, he will pursue the same policy in Syria which is going to lead the world into a thermonuclear war. Today, Lyndon LaRouche commented that he had warned the Congress against permitting the president to launch this illegal, aggressive war to topple Gaddafi. But the Senate, led by the pusillanimous Senator Kerry, refused to act to defend the Constitution. The result was an alliance with al-Qaeda operatives and other London jihadists who have now been deployed as a force of permanent warfare, including against the United States. In addition to Mr. LaRouche's warnings, the United States military knew at the time of our intervention into Libya, as did the Russian and Chinese governments, that overthrowing Gaddafi would lead to chaos and bring jihadists to the fore. Eventually, as expected, the presence of al-Qaeda operatives among the so-called liberators was revealed beyond a doubt. Yet despite this, the president pushed forward with the policy of interventionism into the affairs of sovereign nations, intervening by imposing his will with a disregard for the consequences. ...around the world. And make no mistake, uh, we will work with the Libyan government to bring to justice the killers who attacked our people. As it was, a week before the Libya attacks, there was no report of Obama's presence at White House briefings on the Libya situation. As was discussed by former CIA Director Michael Hayden, to Newsmax.com on September 12th. Violent protests in Libya that claimed the life of the U.S. ambassador were the result of President Obama's decision to intervene in the Libyan revolt without a deep appreciation for what would follow. Yet as tragic as the events in Libya are, the potential for catastrophe in the Obama administration's policy in Syria is even worse. Once again, as we saw in Libya, the administration is demanding regime change and working to support al-Qaeda jihadist armed groups, the same which are now carrying out terrorist bombings, torture, and summary executions. The victims of this are primarily the Syrian military and Christian and Shiite minorities. However, if the policy of regime change continues, it will not just be Americans who will be turned into targets, but the entire world will be the victims as we move closer and closer toward a confrontation with Russia and China. Both nations have given a sharp warning against an intervention in Syria and an overwhelming no to such a policy in the UN Security Council. If the US under Obama goes for regime change despite this, it would mean a world war of thermonuclear proportion. This is what Lyndon LaRouche had already warned about in the immediate aftermath of the overthrow an execution of Gaddafi in October of last year. In remarks today, he added, immediately after the butchery of Gaddafi, an act deliberately planned by Obama and his cohorts in England and France, I warned that this action represented an implicitly deadly threat to world peace. What was evident was the intent by Obama's controllers in the British monarchy to provoke a chain reaction-like series of outbreaks of warfare which could escalate dramatically out of control. The escalation of attacks, which include the U.S. embassies in Cairo and Yemen, along with the Swiss embassy in Iran, are the kind of escalation that Lyndon LaRouche warned about. Yet too few are heeding Mr. LaRouche's warnings, as the situation spirals even more dangerously out of control. One congressman with the courage to challenge these actions of interventionism Representative Walter Jones of North Carolina introduced HCR 107, a resolution that reasserts Congress's unique responsibility and power over the declaration of war, and threatens that any violation of that constitutional provision will be an impeachable offense. So far, only 10 members of Congress have signed on. Let the events in Libya and throughout the Middle East be the most grim of warnings to the American people and policymakers. If you want assurance that the situation in the Middle East 
will not escalate into a thermonuclear confrontation. The only way to prevent this would be to remove President Obama's power. There is a mobilization of leading circles already underway, but time is very short. The interests of world peace demand that we learn the lessons of Libya before it's too late.